Oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Hit, hit, hit my music. So sad, K K K K K K. Young nigga, I got old cash spazzing on the ass. I got Prada on my whole ass. Welcome back, guys. It's your man C to the J to the C. Y'all already know how I be. Straight from the 305 Miami Dade County. Free all my niggas, though. Yo, know, and if it's your first time joining my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, because YouTube been acting up, bro. Like, if you don't hit the bell, you'll never get notified immediately when I upload. You'll probably, like, days later, I'll be like, wait, where you been, though? Where they at, though? About a week ago, but welcome back to my channel. This is part two. If you did see part one, then stop right now, bro. I'm not playing. Go, go watch part one, then come and watch part two. I'll, I'll wait. Hey, who's gonna watch part two before part one? Just not playing with me. All right, so by this time, everyone who didn't see part one left to go watch part one before they watch this. But like I said, welcome to my channel. It's Matt C. J. To the C. Always providing the best story time on playlist. Shout out to the main ones, Tana, Olivia, Cara, Nikki Glamour. It's like I'm trying to get to their level, but we just got to levitate till we elevate to the relevant. But like I said, no time to converse. Now I'm birthed from the old west and like waters. Let's go straight to it. Part two of my tender experience, the funniest one. All right, so basically, like, like y'all saw the last one if y'all thought that was funny there was this girl uh, when I was in Miami this was back in uh, Miami Dade uh, on college days when I was getting my AA before I came up here for UCF to get my bachelor's um, basically um, I was on Tinder and then I had a match she, she, we had a great vibe thing like that um, she was um, she was new to Miami um, she was a gamer she she had the, uh, a great personality I was talking to her everything was sense and things like that and then she told me like, um, she told me like, uh, what's a great place to go in Miami? I said, there's many places, Perry Jungle Island, Miami Aquarium, Bayside, uh, Miami Beach, Winewood, so much places. Like, where do you want to, like, if you had a, a, a choice, where would you want to go? And then she said, um, do you guys have like the, the free train track thing? Uh, the free train rides uh, um, that basically you guys could go on. I said, yeah, they, they go all around Miami. They call it Wilson campus um, down Bayside in downtown. So you want, you're telling me you want to ride that? She said, yeah, that'd be fun. I said, okay, bro. If I don't have to waste money, you think I'm stressing? I'm vibing. I'm like, oh, you want to just go on a train ride? Okay. I'm like, it's a new era or something. So basically like, um, so, um, so we met up in the train station and basically like it wasn't basically a train station it was like on, on the, in the down floor and near miami day wilson campus and then she said she was like hey and we kind of like it was an awkward hug it was <laughs> it was an awkward hug and things like that we went up um the stairs and then we waited for a train while we waited for a train we got to the talking and then she was basically saying like um what made you um like me like what made you like things like that to tell you the truth though i just be swiping <laughs> like i just be swiping and i'm just saying if if you feel in my vibe from my bio and you feel my vibe you're gonna swipe too because that's there are more females basically while they swipe and they looking if they like you some of us guys just be like we swiping like what the f like if you like me we gonna match you got me like unless you like name like you're not my type but basically i'm just saying like i was just i just swipe and i'm saying like if you like me because look think about it this way and you guys gonna be like what think about it this way if you're swiping left right left right you basically like i know you're picking who you're attracted to but then it's more like you might have been drunk <laughs> who knows you might have been drunk you might have been high as hell you might swipe left on a, like a um, a pretty girl, like that's your type, or a, a, a handsome guy for you ladies, that's your type. And then basically you might be drunk or, 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 or weed or, or some chopper drug, Percocet or some shit like that. <laughs> that basically why you was on Tinder and then you missed out. But if you're swiping right all the time, then it's basically like whoever swipes right on you and who actually does the whole left, right picking choice, they're going to swipe on you because they like you and your bio or something about you. And then y'all going to match. That's what makes it perfect. Because if you're swiping right all the time, 
it basically gives every every girl that like a, a option like if they like you to see and that and then you might end up matching with someone you never expected things like that that's what some of us guys do but ladies but back to the story so it's like um i told her oh I liked it, your bio, like, I liked it, your vibe, I just felt like you was pretty, I, I was feeling you, and then basically, like, just basically said, I would love to take her out on a date, and then basically, I swipe, um, right, the unknown reality, though, <laughs> but, yeah. but, yeah, like, basically, like, um, I basically told her that, and she was like, oh, okay, and, she, and then she basically said, um, where, where do you see our future being? <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, what do you mean? And she was like, you know, like, do you see us with kids? Do you see us getting married? And I'm like, bro, in my head, I'm just like, all I came, like, I thought this was a day. This, this, she's asking like five years down, years down the road if we get married and having kids. Like, I thought this was just a day, getting to know each other, having a good time. Now she's talking about like marriage and what the f? Remember at that time, how I was? I was like 20, 21 years old at that time. Now I'm 24, 20, 25 in September. And she's like, if y'all better like send me birthday gifts from that cash app bill at C A R O L I N forty five cash app. So the money sign y'all already know. But yeah, but I was just like 20, 21 at that time. So basically, I was just like telling her, um, I don't know. I mean. I thought it was just on a day. I didn't know I was gonna be asked those questions. She said, I just wanna see where your head's at. And I said, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, in my head, I'm just like, let's go right in the head? <laughs> like, I'm just saying like, I mean, I like you, I swipe, and now we're on a date. That's what's in my head. I mean, I don't have any questions about, I can't answer questions yet about someone I just met like I don't know about and these are serious questions these are something like when we're date if we ever like start dating and, and things are getting serious then you ask these questions but we didn't even know where this could go yet we're just I thought we we're just hanging out and then she was just like okay I guess okay like what oh okay so a train came thank god <laughs> like the train came we got on the train, and then there was a few people that were going to work like always, because like University of Miami Hospital and Jackson Memorial Hospital is basically around that area, the downtown Miami area. So um, she was looking out the window and things like that, and, she said, I, and I said, "So um, what? Um, how long you've been in Miami?" And she said, "For two weeks." I said, "Okay, two weeks." I said, "Where are you from?" She said, um, "We'll worry about that later." What the, f bruh? What? Like, I, I just. With it, what, bro? That's the problem of like sometimes swiping right because sometimes she look pretty, but she might be crazy and stupid as fuck. But yeah, like, but but then I was like, I, I, I was worried about that later. Um, I said, okay. I said, so we're not gonna talk or get or, or like learn more about each other. She said, uh, why are you asking me the message? And I'm like, because we're on a date, and that's why I'm asking now. And then she said. She said, I, I don't think you ever really be thinking these things through. And I said, and I think you're crazy. <laughs> like, and then she basically said, what did you say? And you said, fine. And I was like, I was like, fine. What? I mean, I was just saying, like, you're, you're doing crazy and saying crazy stuff. And then she basically said, all right, let's play a game. I said, what game? And then basically the train stop happened. Then just right when the door was about to end it, she basically slid through the door and was out the door. And she's like, the, the game is hide and seek. Try to find me. What the F? I'm like, what? And my train, and my train is leaving. And while she basically like that, so she basically saying, I got to do the whole circle round and basically get down that stop and try and look for her. So I'm on the train and the train is leaving and leaving her behind. She's waving. I'm like, what the hell? Hide and seek? Bruh. So then the next, the next station, the next station I got to, I got down. Got uh, uh, um took got my bus pass took the bus and went home and that was that I do not <laughs> bro, I do not have time for the what like are you serious bro like she was crazy she needed help in the head like sight like a therapist can't even measure that but all right so then let's go let's continue on there was another tender experience I had uh basically um there was um 
um, there was a girl, and, and she basically, I matched with her, because you know I be swapping right. But yeah, but then she was like this, oh, it, hey, and I was like, hey, how's it going? She said, it's me and my friends, we're trying to look for a threesome. And I said, okay, you feel me, you know? <laughs> Y'all feel me though. Y'all feel me though. Don't judge, man. Don't please don't judge me. And I won't judge you. I said, please some. I'm like, oh. Alright, but but I'm a virgin though. And she was like, they was like they, those two was like, oh you're a virgin, that's great. These are like, um, but you a threesome virgin? I'm like, no, I'm a virgin virgin. Like, I'm waiting for the right one. Like, okay. And then she's like, Oh, you're, you're that virgin. She said, okay, like, will you want to have a threesome for your first time? I'm like, okay, we chilling, though. And then she said, all right, um, here's our address. I said, awesome. So then I put my cologne, but I, you know, get ready. I'm like, it's my first time. I got strapped, got my condoms. Like, I was like, all right, like, boy, like, your boy, you're feeling happy. I was feeling myself, feeling myself, feeling myself. Hey, but then basically, like, um, so then I got the lift. I caught a lift. And remember, like, yeah, I caught a lift. And then basically I was like, remember that $50 that my friend gave me in part one? That's why I, if y'all still here, y'all ain't see part one. Y'all better go get checked part one. Part one, there was still money left over that. Yeah, that was like weeks, prior weeks after. And then basically like, um, I, I, I got I got on the lift and I was out of there. I was headed to address they sent me. And I got to address. But the address is more like a... It was more like a crackhead house. I was like, what the hell is this? And shit like that. And I'm looking at the pictures of the girl. They, they look like they live in the night house. I'm like, so basically, I'm like this. I, I message, I'm like, say, what was you guys' number? And I think I'm at that just thing like that. Then basically, the two of them said, oh, you're at the right address. They said, oh, we got a bag for you to get for us. Like get the bag uh, from the from the guy and basically um, bring it um, to a new address. We'll give it to you. What the fuck, bruh? So <laughs> I'm looking for a threesome. Now these bitches, then the guy came up to me. He said, "Hey, you that guy that the, the two girls said?" I was like, "Yeah." They said, "Here you go." And he gave me, bruh, like <laughs> I make a whole pound of crack, like like drugs, the perks, like pills, or all that shit. And I'm like, all I'm looking, I was looking for was basically like, um. A day, a three stuff, like oh, oh like you get me, like like my Virginia, like being free and shit like that. Then I got myself into this mess, like what, what the fuck type of shit is this? Like what the f? So basically, I'm just like, all right, I'm trying to call, like what the f and things like. I'm trying, like basically, be cool about it. And then basically, um, I message him. I'm saying, a guy just gave me a pound of drugs and things like that. They said, okay, now come to this address and bring it over here. Like what the f? I'm saying, who do I look like? To, so I'm passing drugs. I, mind you, I paid Liv to go to that location. Then I end up in a crackhead house. So a guy giving me drugs to now you give me a new address to come bring it to you guys. And then you guys do an overdose or some type of shit. Then I'm I'm accused of rape. And you guys kind of look young too. I'm not I'm not stupid, bro. So basically, I'm like this. Okay, um, I said I just threw the I just threw the the drugs inside trash can. You guys have a nice day, and I unmatched it. <laughs> like, like what the f? Like I, I can't make this up. <laughs> like bro. So then um so a night uh, it, uh, until the day I had um uh that there was this cool girl. She was mad cool, and then um she was like she don't have a car. I said I have a car. So we both, I, I ordered a lift for both of us. And then we got a lift, we met a lift driver. I said, hey, open the door for her. I'm a gentleman, bro. I'm a gentleman, yes, yes. So yeah, so basically like, uh, I, 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 I opened the door for her, she got in. Um, she basically like, uh, I, I told her, hey, how's it going? And then we was talking to the lift driver. The lift driver was listening to his music, his soft music. And I was like, you look beautiful tonight. And she was like, oh, thank you so much. And then basically she said, uh, so you plan on, on, on buying me um, some stuff? And I was like, I was like, yeah, we gonna, we gonna cook. Uh, we're going to a, uh, um, a fish place where they cook food for anything like that. And it's all you could eat buffet, so that should be good. And he said, all right. And she said, but she said, you better, you better be, already. but remember, like, I ain't gonna last if you can't buy me jewelry and a ring and shit like that. I'm like, 
jewelry and ring. I'm saying, isn't this our first date? She was like, yeah. He said, but I'm kind of feeling um, nauseous. And she, and she threw it up on me. Like, what the fuck? Bruh, I dressed up so good. These are new, bruh, a hunch, like $235, bruh. Two hundred and my bad, like, bro. Like two hundred, two hundred, two hundred and thirty-five dollars, bro. Like I spent all the clothes I had on me, and she just stood up all, all on it. He's like, I'm sorry, he's like, and the, the, the lift driver said, what's going on in the back? And he said, what the hell? Like, and then basically I'm like, bro, like, what? I'm like, what? And then shit like that. And she said, she said, I'm sorry. He said, he said, he said, um, he said, um, um, but you, you, you got money for me tonight? And I'm saying, money? I'm saying, money for you? What you mean? And then she said, he said, she said, you know, like, for me to buy clothes tomorrow, things like that. She said, because you're going to be my sugar daddy, right? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm saying, Please, uh, I said, please get out of the car. Um, Lift driver, please. And yes. And she, he was all like, I, I'm stopping right here. And then basically, she was like, this, I need to get home. I said, you go find that sugar daddy that you were looking for. Uh, I basically, I, I got something for you. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then basically, I headed out. And now I, 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 got, I got on the bus or all dirty shit like that. Smelled like vomit, the whole piss ride shit. And then got home. What the fuck? Took a shit. And then basically cleaned myself. Like, bruh, I'm tired. Like, bruh, these are, what? 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 So, yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, eh. Hey. So yeah, eh. Hey. Yeah, so basically like, oh my good, like I can't make this up. <laughs> I can't make this up. And then it was just like, it was crazy. Like these three, bruh, these ten bruh, tender is a crazy. You have to be careful. These whole <laughs> these girls, oh my bruh, like I just I can't, I can't make this. This is just crazy, bruh. Part three is gonna be Bumble. If y'all thought at least Bumble they got the elegant, but Bumble still was an experience. I, I'm, I got something for y'all. But remember, guys, like, subscribe, and comment, man. Like, subscribe, and comment. And remember to like, subscribe, and comment. If you can't like, then you can't subscribe. And if you can't subscribe, then comment, like, and subscribe. And you know what it is, man. Like, check out my story time plays. Check that thing out. Check that shit out, bro. Because that shit good. You know that chicken like with that barbecue sauce. Hot, bro, I'm getting hungry. It's your man, C to J to C, man. And I'm out. Be breezy.